From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. I'm Power 5 meteorologist Brian Shaw. It is going to be another warm one for today with temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. But later on this afternoon, this evening, we are going to bring in widespread showers and storms. They are going to move in from west to east and slowly drift to the south. Throughout the evening hours, some of them could be on the strong to severe side with gusty winds, frequent lightning, and then also some flooding issues could be possible if storms hit the same area over and over throughout the evening hours. We're dropping down into the low 70s to upper 60s once those storms pass on by, so it will be cooler, but more storms on the way for tomorrow. I'm Terrence Lee. Here's a rundown of your top stories. Widespread storm damage is being reported in the Dayton area. The National Weather Service confirming at least two tornadoes touched down. At least one person was killed in Salina and at least 40 others are hurt. Survey teams will also be out all day today assessing more of the damage. Right now, Bedford Heights police need your help. Uh, they're looking for a man considered to be armed and dangerous. Philip Scott is accused of shooting and killing Carlos Mitchell Sunday morning. We say Scott was last seen driving a dark blue Hyundai Elantra with an Ohio license plate HOA 4212. If you've seen him or that car, do not approach and call Bedford Heights police right away. Check back later tonight for another update and download the News 5 app for breaking news and alerts. Have a great day. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.